Hi guys, my name is Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back. Now today, I want to take a look at the information that Facebook actually has on us, because I was talking about um, this whole Cambridge Analytica thing again uh, the other day after listening to Chris Wiley's um, providing of evidence to, to the committee that's overseeing the whole affair, and um, as a result, I was interested in seeing how much info uh, Facebook actually has on me, um, considering that I personally haven't been a huge user of Facebook um, since, uh, well, until more recently, where I've been every day making sure that my uh, videos and things go out through the Silver Mountain coaching page, which is what I'm on at the moment. But before I go into the data that they have on me, um, which I will be skipping past parts as well, just because uh, of the private information that's on there from both myself and other people and whatever else. Um, but we can we can see the scale and scope of the information that's there. But first, in case you were interested, I wanted to show you guys how to find uh, your own data and download your own archive from Facebook. So you go uh, to the little arrow here, down to settings, and then from settings, just here, it says download a copy. In which case then it'll send you a time sensitive um, kind of link to your email for you to download. Now here we've got my rather daft profile picture, but this is the archive. So it sends you um, a, a an archive like this, which has all of this stuff in it, and then clicking on, on one of these opens up this, which is a, a open kind of access thing for you to go and take a look at everything. So I've not apparently uploaded any videos to my own profile, so there's nothing here, um, which is why I'm starting on this page. But in terms of some of the stuff that we've got here, there are a couple of things that I want to look at. Firstly, timeline. So, uh, I've, I've taken a look at my profile and they've got all of my contact information plus all of the information of who my family is, what relationships I've had and everything else. Contact info is actually all of my friends who have info like their phone numbers and things linked through. So by accessing my profile, anyone that shared their contact info with me, someone gets hold of of all that data as well. So it's not just a case of um, me, you know, with the Cambridge Analytica stuff. If I had got hold of the app, the Ripon app that was uh, harvesting all this data and I had agreed to it, that's fine. But then I would have effectively also been volunteering all of the data, all of the phone numbers and email addresses and other things that my friends had shared with me just from the friends list. The list of friends is there, uh, which also includes not just the, the name of the person, but also when they became my friend, potentially showing who is more prominent in your life than otherwise. Um, pokes, they're, they're rather unsurprising. Photos, again, rather unsurprising. But timeline, it shows every single thing, which granted, at the moment, is almost entirely like that's uh, the Faceless Librarian blog that I occasionally um, do some writing for. And the, all of this is me sharing Silver Mountain stuff. Um, you know, but how far back does this go? Well, this goes, and I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom because I know that there's some other info on there that is, effectively belongs to other people, so I'm not going to go there. But this goes all the way back to 2007, like early, I think it's April 2007, when I first signed up to Facebook. So these guys have, what, somewhere in the region of like 11 years worth of data on me, of things that I've shared, of the changes in my life, and everything else. So then we've got... Um, our, our various other bits and pieces that are down the bottom here, which I feel are the more important. Because we've got, firstly, we've got our um, our events and things, which just shows kind of places that I may or may not have been, but there's that. Security, though, 
shows every active session and it shows when it was, what IP address I was using it from, and everything else time and time again. But then, ads. Now ads is what this is for. Yeah, this is what we're looking at in regards to um, the Cambridge Analytica stuff where they were targeting people. And so this though, so we've got all kinds of things from stuff that I probably agree with, you know, engineering, visual arts, Star Trek. Um, but then we've also got some really weird stuff on here as I was looking through earlier. Um, like where was it? Here we go. Pike, oh, no, Pike County, Georgia. Why? I, I like. I could understand kind of Chenk Yuga being on here because I've looked at the young, or Anna Kasparian because I've looked at the the Young Turks at times. I'm surprised Rebel Media isn't on here as well. To be fair, I can understand Tony Robbins because he's the largest coach on earth. You know, but P polka dot. Really. And yet, apparently, all of these things are things... Again, here, here you go, down the bottom here. Philip DeFranco. You know, um, LBC, the Robin Hood tax. You know, all of all of these things, like, I can, I can understand the fair majority of them being here, but some of them are just way out of the blue. But, again, then we've got, you know, stuff here, the, the that's just them what they feel that they can target me with. Which, to be fair, I mean, hip-hop music, not too sure about that either, but for the most part, there's a lot of stuff here that is pretty accurate to the stuff that I watch or look up, or, you know, Hammerfall discography, yeah, where I got the name of my company from, and my name of my YouTube channel that you're watching, uh, watching me on at the moment. You know, it makes, that like, they know stuff that they can target me with fairly accurately just from stuff that I've interacted with. But then we've got interactions, and we've got games that I've played, sure, like I tried out Zom and Path of, uh, the Path of Heroes on my phone. High, well, high Res, Blizzard Entertainment, Candid, High Res Studios, Witty Bunny? Don't know what that is. But these are all, like those I can, I can understand. You know, and then you've got other silly daft ones down here as well, like quizzes and things from when I was just wasting time on, on YouTube. Um, not YouTube, Facebook. But then, you know, we've we've got a whole load of other things on here, like the fact that my phone is a Galaxy S5, and that's also on here as part of the applications thing. They know what I'm using and where I'm using it. And it's it's kind of there's a, a a lot of stuff kind of there there we go um but there's a, so much stuff there the they can pinpoint me with anything and everything and that's before um like i could go through and and kind of work myself out uh from all of those posts and things and this is me who doesn't post an awful lot of personal stuff online as well like, most of the stuff that's on there is relational to other people. You know, events that I've been to, messages from friends, things from friends that I've shared on my, my timeline, information about my friends and family, their contact information. You know, it's it's a huge amount of data there. The Again, when you pair it with profiling techniques, allows for a pretty substantial shot of a person. For instance, looking at that, there are lots of things there that I've shared from uh, from Hannah. Uh, you know, and it says there that she's my girlfriend, in which case, whilst I'm not sharing much from other people, I'm not liking much from other people, I'm not interacting with them that often, they can see that she's prominent in my life and I'm interacting with her a lot more online. In which case, if you need to target someone to potentially get through to me, who do you need to target? We need to target Hannah. Um, you know, it's it's like that. And in part of what I was saying yesterday around um, the the evidence that Chris Wiley gave um, to the to the committee yesterday, 
uh, he said that they didn't target every single person in uh, that they had data for. They only targeted a few million. Like I think he said it was about five, five, uh, well, one fifth of the number of, of estimated files that they had on people. And it's like, right, so they picked out the specific influencers, the people that bridged those gaps across those various social networks and hit them so they could impact as many people with the smallest amount of effort. Like, that's a lot of, of power and, and focus there. And so, you know, if you can find one person that lots of different friends listen to that are all linked together, that have more reach, and then you apply this directly, then that's just so much, um, such, a, such a push that you can provide in a, in a group. And part of what, uh, there was one thing that was said when he was going through um, the kinds of things the, the, they did with this profiling and this information. And one of them was attitude inoculation. An attitude inoculation is, um, to my understanding, where you literally kind of prompt and uh, in such a way that it causes people to become solidified in one position and block out another entirely. Um, like maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll do another whole video on that where I've actually done some more research into the specifics of it. But again, it's it's at the very least it's a it's a, a method by which potentially without someone being aware of it, you block someone into the position that they've taken so that they will not listen. They will not like kind of work with people, listen to facts, uh, peruse evidence, uh, and they will sit in that position wholeheartedly. And that's, that's dangerous. That means that not only are you being prompted towards a position by your friends uh, through a th or by this th this this um, third party through your friends without you even realizing it, but then on top of that, they are doing it in such a way that then you block out other potential platforms and other potential ideas, communication and other stuff that might be more grounded or more reasonable or, or otherwise uh, more beneficial to you even. And that's that's like this is this is. The severity of the the issue with the data, anyway. Um, but just looking at it, you know, I would I would very much recommend that you guys go and download your own archives. Mine was about two and a half gig, and I'm not a big. I don't have an awful lot on my profile. In fact, there are things on my profile that, after scrolling through um, that data before I I started recording this, um, it was a it was a case of me going. That stuff has been on there for so long and it's not because they've just recorded it from the beginning, it's because I've not been back and actually updated it. I should probably I should maybe do that at some point. But, you know, going they they've got from 2007 to 2018, you know, they've they've got eleven years of my life. And they've got where I've been, who I've been there with, who I've made friends with there. Um, how I've made friends with them, what we've bonded over, uh, what I've been interested in, what I've been doing with my time on Facebook, um, if I bought products through Facebook, what they feel they can advertise you know, to me, my contact information, all of my friends' contact information. And that's all from one profile, from just my profile. Which again, as said, is on the smaller side relative to some people. You know, it's huge. Um, but I, I very much recommend going and taking a look at all of the other information, all the other data that they have on you, just in case it's it's some you know, it's something that you want to go and take a look at and rework and shift around and and maybe block more of um just in case because like where lots of people have been like, ah, delete Facebook. I don't see the point uh, of that because the data is already there. And even if you delete your Facebook and kind of try and petition them to get rid of your data, um, depending on where you are, you've got different kind of data rules. In the EU, you've got GDPR, which, which has come in, which is kind of 
trying to protect data within the EU as well as the information that gets transmitted out of the EU. Um, you know, we've got the Data Protection Act over here, which probably needs some work, which is kind of where the discussion is going in regards to some of this Cambridge Analytica stuff and the AIQ stuff around vote leave and leave.eu. Um, but then also you've you in this you know in the states um, potentially you've got different laws around national security and other things like that that may very well mean that they won't delete the data outright even if you delete your account that just means they won't be gathering any more information on you after the uh, after that point and it's it's definitely something to look into and as the world becomes more and more communications and information focused it's something that we need to keep track of and you know the as as per some of my comments from uh, my video yesterday um it, it it kind of comes down to what chris wiley said about um you know making sure that um things are transparent and making sure that the um there are there there's there's enough oversight so that when wrong wrongdoing does occur it doesn't matter the severity of the wrongdoing it's just the fact that it's wrongdoing and it's dealt with um you know it's it's something that that is troubling um and i realized the the there have been black bars across this video when looking through some of the the information some of the data but that's again because there are certain pieces of information that I don't want you guys to see no offense but it's my private info um, and there are reasons why I didn't go on certain tabs because otherwise I would have had to have blacked out the entire screen essentially um, but again there's just so much info there and I wanted to show you guys just in just a snapshot of how much info that they that they have on you and and how you can go and check what they have um, but anyway guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the video later take care thank you very much for watching guys if you found this at all interesting or useful then please drop us a like share this video and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the video later take care